Now this problem is related to de Broglie wavelength that is matter waves. Read the problem and try yourself. This is an easy problem. So we have to calculate wavelength of electron. And what are the things that is given? We have been given velocity of electron. And that is 5.97 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second. We have been also given mass of electron that is 9.11 this value into 10 to the power minus 31 kz. We can apply the Broglie wavelength formula that is lambda is equals to h by mb where h is the Planck's constant and its value is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule into second. Now if I plug all these values so h is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule into second and this divided by mass into velocity mass is air 9.11 into 10 to the power minus 31 kz and this multiplied by velocity that is 5.97 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second So if I do calculation I will have 6.626 divided by 9.11 into 5.97 into 10 raised to the power minus 34 and this goes on the top so we will have plus 31 and this will become minus 6 and since everything we have taken in SI unit the lambda will come in SI unit that is meter. So we can write 6.626 divided by 9.11 into 5.97 and this becomes, so let us say use calculator, we will have minus 34 plus 31 minus 6. So this is minus 9, so 10 to the power minus 9 meter. We can also calculate this value that is 6.626. This divided by 9.11 multiplied by 5.97. This is point 0.1 to 1, so 0. 1 to 1 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter or I can write lambda is equals to 1.21 into 10 to the power minus 10 meter and 10 to the power minus 10 meter is nothing but angstrom so lambda is 1.21 angstrom so we can say wavelength associated with electron wavelength associated with electron is equals to 1.21 angstrom. Let us try this practice exercise. You can do yourself. Once again you have to formula lambda is equals to h by mb.
so this time you have to calculate velocity of neutron and what are the things that is given so you have been given wavelength of neutron and these are basically we are talking about matter waves that is matter is behaving like a wave and wavelength of nucleus this is sorry neutron and this is given as 500 picometer pico is basically 10 to the power minus 12 so 500 into 10 to the power minus 12 meter we have been also given mass of neutron and this is equals to let us say take up to two figure 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kz now we can apply de Broglie formula that is lambda is equals to h by mb if I slightly modify this formula so we can write v is equals to h by m times lambda now h is the Planck constant that value is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 Joule into second and this divided by mass mass is 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg so mass is here and then we have to have lambda that is 500 into 10 to the power minus 12 meter now since I am taking everything in SI unit velocity will come in SI unit and SI unit for the velocity is meter per second so we will have 6.626 and this divided by 1.67 and we can write 500 and let us take everything up so we will have 10 to the power minus 34 this is plus 27 and this is plus 12 so we will have 6.626 1.67 into 500 and this multiplied by so let us say we will have minus 34 plus 27 plus 12 so we will have 10 to the power 5 or we can basically cancel these two zeros so I will have 6.626 1.67 into 5 into 10 to the power 3 and this is mean meter per second so let us simplify this value we will have 6.626 and this divided by 1.67 and multiplied by 5 so this comes out to be 0 0.793 so 0 0.793 into 10 to the power 3 meter per second and that is 7.93 into 10 to the power 2 meter per second so velocity of neutron and this is equals to 7.93 into 10 to the power 2 meter per second if you see one important observation you have here if you see velocity of electron and that is very high that is 5.97 into 10 to the power 6 but if you see the velocity of neutron that is very low only 10 to the power 2 this is because mass of this is very high so neutron has a mass of 10 to the power minus 27 but electron has a mass of 10 to the power minus 31
so we can say wavelength of that is a speed of neutron is low compared to the speed of electron so velocity of neutron is less in compared to velocity of electron 